good guys welcome back digital slang today Nakis kp ones are finally in the studio Nakis was gracious enough to send over two copies one to review one to give away stay tuned to the end of the video i'll tell you how you can enter the giveaway last week's giveaway ricky bush should be announcing the winner today some point on his instagram so head over to instagram and ricky bush to check that out but Nakis kp ones stay tuned to the end of the video and i'll tell you how you can enter the giveaway for these but let's talk Nakis KP1s, another super copy. These things are supposed to be badass, but we're gonna find out. We'll put it through all the testing and we'll check out for ourselves if they're worth it. They're $72.99. I'll leave the link below for Nakis website. You can check it out for yourselves. Bluetooth 5.0, in-ear detection, touch controls, sound quality. These things are supposed to be even louder than the AirPod 2s. $72.99 starting price point on Nakis com. I'll leave the link below. You can go check them out for yourselves, but let's see if they're better than the real deal. Let's check them out. Now the boxing on these, it's a little different. They are not trying to copy Apple one for one. The box is much smaller than the original and the KP ones and Nakis are doing their own branding. So you got the KP one Nakis on the front with the picture of the buds KP one on each side. And on the back, you do have the picture of the buds, knock pods one, that is of course KP1, knock pods one. So we open it up. Here is the Nakis themselves. Good weight to it. I like the weight, and that's you're going to get good battery life. Three to six hours of use time. Now, full volume with these, you're gonna get about three hours full volume, 100% volume, three hours of use time. If you lower the volume, you're gonna get more. And if you use one at a time, you're gonna get about six hours of use time with these. Inside of the box, we also have your charging cable and your instruction manual. These do support wireless charging, Bluetooth 5.0, but we're gonna check all of that out. So, Naki's KP1s. I love the wrapping, very nice, very clean. And these are going to have good battery life. I can feel the weight. Now this is a copy again of the AirPods 2. You do have your LED light on the front. If you open it up, there's the light on the bottom. You do have your lightning connector on the back, your button and your hinge, but you don't have any of that writing there on the back. But what they did do right was that magnet on the hinge where they just don't shut, right? You have to kind of force it shut. And I like that. It just don't shut, it stays open. It's the first clone that I've tested that does that. So right away, that's a good sign. And there's some good weight to it. It feels like a real thing. It feels like the real product and I like that. Now let's connect them. You know I'm looking for that ease of use just like in all of the ones we've tested. Pops right up, connect, hold the back button. Does connect, done. So we're connected, let's throw some beats on and we'll see how these things sound if they really do stack up to the real deal. So we'll just start with a little KRS. They sound clear, they're very loud and the bass is there, but you're not gonna get a lot of bass on a design like the AirPods or the KP1s or any clone. We're just not gonna get a lot of bass. They're not built for that. But clarity wise, sound wise, these are louder than the real AirPods. And these are the loudest ones that I've tested so far. So that's a good thing. They sound very good. Now let's go in and we're gonna test the in-ear detection. We'll just start with all the testing and we'll just start with that. So we'll play some music. They stop. They play. They stop. They play. Also, you get that same exact sound that you get on the real AirPods. And I dig that sound. It's better than a voice and it's better than some of these other sounds you hear. It sounds, it's just a nice sound. You know, I don't know how else to put it. It's just a nice sound. It sounds premium and I'm digging it. So far, these are very good. So, inner detection works well. The connectivity worked fantastic. The sound, sound quality, they're loud as hell. So that's a good thing because I'd rather be able to turn it down than to not be able to turn it up and hear it the way I wanna hear it. Next test, touch controls. We'll try two and three taps. Right side first, two taps. Pauses. Plays. Three taps. Goes to the next track, three taps again. Goes to the next track. We'll try three taps left side, see if it goes back to the previous track. 
does go back. Three taps again, goes back. So two taps, pauses and plays. Three taps, goes forward or goes back. Now, if you're getting a phone call, two taps will end or answer the phone call. Let's try and get Siri to come on. Two taps left side. What time is it, Siri? So the way these are set up now, two taps, right side will play and pause. Three taps on the right side will go to the next track. Three taps on the left side go back to the previous track and two taps on the left side is Siri. And if you're getting a phone call, two taps to answer or end the phone call. Now, I have seen videos where you can remap it. I haven't been able to remap it. I don't know what's that about, but if I go into settings and I go into Bluetooth, I don't get any options to remap anything. So I don't know what that's about. I have seen it where people have done that. So. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but the touch controls do work very well. In-ear detection works very well. Next test, we're gonna check the latency, see if there's a delay between the audio and video. So let's jump right in. We will play a video and we will see. So actually no delay there, and that's a good sign because on all the other clones I've tested, there has always been a delay on YouTube with the clones. So that is a very good sign. There is no delay on these. Let's try another video. Yeah, no delay, no delay at all. This is the first time I've tested one of these where there has been no delay on YouTube besides the real deal. So we are very close to the real deal. These might even be better. They're $72.99 on the website and they're louder than the real AirPods. You're not gonna hear a lot of bass, guys. These aren't built for bass. None of the clones, AirPods, the Nakis, they're not built. This, this build quality is not meant for bass. You need the other versions with the silicone tips that fit in your ears to get some good bass to feel that bass. You're not gonna really feel it on any of these that we've been testing. So let's talk about what we've tested so far. We got the inner detection works very well. Touch controls do work. There is no lag between audio and video. Wireless battery percentage on here is real. These are compatible also with wireless chargers. Now, Sound quality wise, these are better and louder than real AirPods. So take that into consideration, guys. These things are half the price, depending on what version of the AirPods 2 you wanna buy, but they're $72.99 on the website. Next test, we are going to try and use one at a time. So if we play the video, we take one out. Now it did stop, but if we hit play, there you go, one at a time. Let's take the other one out now. And we'll try the other pod. Already playing in my ear. Take one out. That time it didn't stop playing. So you can use one at a time, that is a good thing. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. Next we will do a mic test and we will compare it to the real AirPods. This is a mic test guys for the Nakis, the KP one. So let me know how they sound, if they're comparable to the real AirPods. This is a mic test for the real AirPods. Let me know how they sound, how they compare to the KP1s, which one you think is better. So the Nakis, the KP1s guys, they're good. They're loud, they're clear. All the controls work, in-ear detection works. There was no lag between audio and video, which is a good thing of first for me doing these tests. So I'm impressed by them. And the price tag on these, $72.99 on their site. So it's a good deal. It's a lot cheaper than the real deal and if you're looking for something with really good sound, with really loud sound, these are louder than the real deal. So take a look at them, nakis.com. I'll leave the link below. They did send over an extra pair for me to give away. So if you want to get in on the giveaway, guys, there's a link in the description below. We're going to run this giveaway through Gleam. The giveaway will last for two weeks. So the instructions will be in Gleam once you enter. Well, that's about it, guys. Again, I'll leave the link, nakis.com, nakis KP1s. I'm impressed. The best ones I've tested so far. So stay tuned, guys. More videos to come. And we'll be back. Enjoy your Sunday. Peace.